if the commissioners and the governor cooperate with us and help us find these reduced savings, we don't even need to touch the reserves in order to provide $102 million in tax relief and jobs uh, investments in the state of Minnesota. So members, with that, let me give just a couple of the high points of the Senate tax bill. It focuses on competitiveness, eliminating complexity, encouraging economic activity, job growth, entrepreneurship, and capital investment in a long-term and sustainable way. Members, two-thirds is income tax relief, and one-third is property tax relief. Two-thirds is relief to income taxpayers in Minnesota that want us to conform to federal provisions for the marriage penalty. Minnesotans are paying a marriage penalty members that folks in other states are not paying. Minnesotans, if they are married, have to add back income after they calculate their federal tax liability, $1,950 to be exact, that they have to pay additional state income taxes on in Minnesota where they wouldn't have to in another state just because Minnesota was unable to conform to the federal changes. Our Congress and President Obama authorized federal con or the marriage penalty for just two years. This tax relief, members, is available for just two years. And last year, Governor, v Governor Dayton vetoed it. And we want this year to find the $62 million to provide relief to middle-class Minnesotans who are paying a burden that other residents in the United States do not have to pay. Another portion for our individuals is residential property tax relief members. This bill provides additional relief for those that have had any kind of a spike in their property taxes in the last year. If your taxes have gone up more than $100 and more than 12%, the state of Minnesota will provide a very significant refund of 75% of that increase. And for folks that are watching, that refund will come yet this year if this bill is signed into law. But let's talk about business, businesses in Minnesota as well. Unfortunately, businesses in Minnesota find Minnesota to be the 45th worst business tax climate in the nation. There's got to be something that we can do to help our business partners so that the private economy grows and is less dependent on the public sector economy. Members, this is good for Minnesota long term. So let's talk about what this bill does for our business partners. First of all, we would be eliminating the state general levy. The state general levy is a business property tax that is uh, charged to Minnesota businesses just for being present in the state of Minnesota. They already pay the local taxes. They pay for city, county, and school district taxes, met council taxes, soil and water, watershed taxes, special taxing districts. Our business partners truly are that. They are partners. They pay for local services just like the residents do. But on top of those local burdens, the businesses in the state of Minnesota also pay a state general levy tax, which now is 30% of their tax burden for property taxes. What was started in 2001 as about $550 million has ballooned to a burden of $800 million because of an automatic inflator. Members, we should be eliminating this state general levy tax to provide tax relief to all businesses. And the businesses that will be affected are all businesses with presence, presence here in the state of Minnesota. They can be small, they can be large. They can be profit generating or they can be losing money. They can be new, they can be old, they can be in a, a rental situation or in an ownership situation. But by eliminating this tax, we can reduce the fixed cost of our businesses for the cost of doing business in Minnesota. And we heard some incredible testimony in the tax committee Businesses that came forward and said that if they were given this relief, they would do some long-term planning and they would reinvest that money in capital equipment, in new jobs, in increased salaries, in research and development, in expanded premises. That's what we need, that kind of economic activity. And not just in Minneapolis, folks, but in rural towns and cities across the state of Minnesota. This is a Main Street business tax relief bill. 
In addition for small businesses, we have the capital upfront exemption. Right now our businesses have to apply for a rebate if they want to be exempt from sales tax for capital equipment investment. Members, we should be switching that to an automatic exemption at the time of the purchase and by doing that we can encourage more purchases of capital equipment right now in the state of Minnesota. Again, it will generate economic activity and it will mean more jobs, more investment, and more productivity. Members, this bill also includes a military pay subtraction for our veterans. I'm very proud of that provision. Many of us in this chamber, some that have been retired, have worked very long and hard to provide this benefit to veterans of our, of our, for our services. Unfortunately, we are in the, tenth, in the bottom 10 states in terms of tax friendliness for our military veterans. This would allow them to subtract some of their, their pension income if they move to Minnesota. This relief is important to do the right thing, but it's even more important that it will provide economic development because our military veterans, when they come back to Minnesota, they bring high skills, they bring leadership, they bring entrepreneurship. They will be a great boost to our economy and to our communities in the state of Minnesota if we do this. Additional for, member, for our businesses members is the angel investment tax credit. Many of, it, of us in this chamber have worked hard at that. There's an expansion for that. The historic tax credit, the brewery tax credit, medical devices, data centers, there's relief for businesses in this bill. There are also thousands of jobs, new jobs represented in this bill in the ways that I've already discussed, but also in terms of tax increment financing proposals that members in this body brought to the tax committee. We had quite a few of them. We have uh, Oakdale, Brooklyn Park, Apple Valley, Bloomington, Dakota County Community Development Authority, St. Cloud, and we also have mining reclamation projects in Apple Valley and Maple Grove. Members, it's really good when our local communities can be incented to work on economic development and build jobs and refurbish their cities.